Hi everyone. Uh, today I'm going to do my lasagna and I'm going to show you my recipe and some ins and outs. Um, first I'm going to show you my ingredients. Um, I, today I'm using ground turkey. Uh, I didn't have ground hamburger which is fine. And um, so we're letting that cool off. I have a little olive oil. I have, hey Sherry, I have a um, some sauce. Um, I have granule garlic, and I have also, I have chopped garlic. It's just a preference. And then I also have some a bay leaf and some basil, Italian seasoning, and some Parmesan, and some cottage cheese, egg. Um, I'm using Swiss cheese and mozzarella. Hey, Abby. And um, and my secret that I don't usually share is going to be my cream cheese. So then I'll explain how I'm using all this together. All right, I'm going to turn the camera back around. Okay, give me just a second. Let me sit up. Now this is going to be in the crock pot. And hey, Lena. I'm trying to wave at you. Okay, I hope you guys can see because the, the comments kind of cover everything, so I can't see what you're seeing. Okay, so hence the big bowl. So um, my first thing I'm going to do is, is I'm going to put my sauces together. And um, and I if you haven't seen these in Walmart, it's because I go to Aldi's. And um, I like them uh, from Aldi's. It's, it's got a sweeter taste. And it's not as it's bittery and acid. And um, the sauce I'm using today is tomato, basil, and garlic. And I am making a lasagna in a crock pot. So I'm just going to add a jar or two. And I'm not going to add this, the whole second jar, only because I want it for the bottom of my crock pot. So I put about, um, about half the second jar in there. And then I'm going to put the other part of this inside my crock pot, the other half of this, only because I know my crock pot and it uh, gets a little hot than it should be. So I, I don't want the bottom completely crusty and burnt. And I'm using, of course, a crock pot liner, which I suggest to use. And then I'm gonna use a little bit um, of olive oil on the bottom. And I just dribble, drizzle it in there just a little bit. Just kind of coats it. I don't want everything to stick to the bottom. I just want to cover the bottom really good. Um, I don't want anything to really stick to it. Okay. And we're back here. Okay. So, um, my meat is still a little bit warm. I don't want it really hot. When, um... I can hear you, David. <laughs> um, David's got TV up. Um, so I want to try to cool it down a little bit. So I used I put the tomato sauce in first. The meat's gonna go in, and I'm gonna start cooling it down. Hey, Robin, how are you doing? Okay, we're doing a crock pot lasagna today. So this has got to cool down just a little bit, and I'm gonna start adding some of my um, ingredients in here slowly. I just don't want my cheese to melt yet. Okay, so I have cottage cheese, and I'm gonna add the cottage cheese into my into my bowl. Is that better? Okay, so um, I'm gonna put one cup of cottage cheese in. Now, Everybody has a preference, and I will tell you, if you use ricotta, um, there's a secret with ricotta cheese. Ricotta cheese and, um, like, Swiss, it it kind of, like, throws it. So, uh, ricotta cheese is a substitute of the um, cottage cheese. Ricotta is a substitute of ricotta, yeah, I'm <laughs> repeating myself. Only because if you choose to use either or you can't use both, it, it actually cancels each other out. Okay, um, I've added the cottage cheese in, and I'm just going to fold it in just enough to where it's, 
Um, just kind of mix in lightly. And my bowl is not that hot. I'm only going to use one egg. Um, sometimes I use an egg, sometimes I don't. It depends on how much water I'm going to add in, and I'll explain why. Um, so I'm going to use one egg for a thickener. I'm going to crack it. And I know you're supposed to put it in the cup first, but I trust myself. And I like to rinse my hands after I get done doing certain things with eggs and things like that because it's a raw item. Okay, not that no one has ever made lasagna before. Okay, so I'm going to break up that egg in here really good. And then my secret to make my lasagna creamy is I'm going to add cream cheese. You're going to be like, ah, why? It actually is a big game changer. Um, when I was younger, my mother made this recipe and she got a blue ribbon for it in a fair. So I'm actually sharing one of my recipes. My kids are going to be like, mother. And I can use cream cheese if I decide to use ricotta and, and I want to use um, provolone together and then I can use the cream cheese with it. Um, it just changes the flavor a little bit um, and is uh, the ricotta and the provolone very creamy together with the cream cheese. But the cream cheese is sufficient for me with the cottage cheese. Not everybody's a cottage cheese fan. So I'm not going to make a, too big of a deal about it on a science wise because um, my spoons, I'm just going to spoon it and then just dump it into the bowl and then mix it up. And it's not no, it's not going to be anything major. It's, it's all going to get distributed equal inside the lasagna. And I just kind of just spoon it in there. Kind of like when you do dumplings. If you're commenting, I apologize. I can't see it because I moved it out of the way so I could see what I was doing. Is everybody having a good Sunday? I hope so. And this, um, I usually put this on for about, um, in the crock pot between four to six hours, depending on how you like your noodles. Some people like a dente. I like a little bit more um, soft. I don't want too much of a hard crunch. And I found the spoons are a lot easier to use than doing a butter knife cut and so forth. Or I've used my hands and I've just picked it apart, but I'm really not wanting to get all cheesy. <laughs> okay. Got my leggings on today, Robin. I'm being in the comfies. I'm in comfy mood. Okay. I'm just about done with um, my cream cheese. Okay. All right, that's done. He's going to sink. I'm done with those. And then I'm just going to fold this in. Okay. Now, I have my noodles. I am not cooking my noodles. So this means I need to add water to my sauce. So that being said, I'm going to add probably about a quarter cup to start with. And as you mix it in, it's going to look a little soupy, but remember, you need a little bit of moisture for your noodles and then once your noodles start cooking the starches are actually going to build up and create a thickener so you don't want it too soupy but you want enough to where there's enough liquid and water in there to cook the noodles you don't want it to be kind of a starchy taste and i will show you what i mean so it kind of like has that texture to it i'll show you So it's more like, 
It's not, it's not soupy soupy, but it's not like thick. And it probably could use just a tad more water. Okay. All right. Let me get my cheese ready. And I'm going to do layers. How many people are on? Does it say? Okay. So, um, in the crock pot, it's kind of hard to lay your noodles down because you're supposed to lay them one direction and opposite of another direction. So, right now, I'm just going to start with three on the bottom. I'm going to break them down to size, and I'm going to use them raw. And I'm going to have them fit down inside the crock pot. Alright. That one won't fit yet. Alright, so I'm going to add... I've got three to start with on the bottom. So I'm going to add my sauce. And I'm just going to start laying it in. To where the bottom is covered. And you want to cover the noodles with the sauce. And I'll show you. So that's all I'm doing. And then I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of cheese. And I'm doing mozzarella first. And then I'm going to do Swiss. And then remember my my cottage cheese and my cream cheese is already in. And that's simple. And then I'm going to start with another layer. And I'm going to put the phone down for just a second. And then I'm going to repeat it. Repeat it again. And this way, I'm going to go in the opposite direction. And there's about four. Mine's a not a large crock pot. So about four noodles. Going in the opposite direction. pieces on the side. Then I repeat the process and I'm going to add a little bit more sauce and a little bit more noodles or a little bit more sauce for the noodles. Now if you decide you want to do this in the stove I've done this where I've uh, put it up about 350 for a couple hours. You foil it with a tent at the top. And um, always make sure you have enough um, sauce for the top so it doesn't burn. And I always put it on top of a cookie sheet in a pan, especially if you do it in a glass pan, only because the bottom will burn. And I'm probably only going to get about two or three layers out of this. And then I'm going to layer this a little bit more with the Swiss cheese. And 
make it fit in there. So my center is the thickest of cheese. Okay. And I'm going to do one more layer, and that's going to be my top layer. And I'm going to do it long ways. Right at the top for noodles. Okay. I'm just going to pour the rest on top. mozzarella and I'm going to cover the top now you're probably asking well what happened to all the seasoning well I'm not done yet and you're going to see okay so I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of the granule garlic on top you can use chopped garlic if you choose to it's not a big deal I'm going to pour a little bit of olive oil on top. Not a lot. And then I'm going to add a little bit of Italian seasoning. I always like to season the top. Not, I don't want it a lot because it gets leafy. And then I'm going to use a little basil. And then I'm going to take, and I have what I have left, is a bay leaf. Now, this is optional. Most people don't like bay leaves. but And I usually stick it on one end of the crock pot. And all it's going to do is going to ferment when it cooks. And it, it just absorbs the flavor um, inside the crock pot for all the, um, all the rest of it. Okay. Oh, and I forgot Parmesan cheese. And it goes on the very top. And I will show you. And that's what it looks like inside the crock pot. And now I'm going to put this on for about, uh, I'm going to start with four, four hours and go from there. Okay. Any questions or if I missed a step, ask me. Um, it's really simple. Talk to you later. Bye.